Well, hello everybody. It's Joe back with you. Another how to think or swim video continuing our series. This one is a place I spend a lot of time in. It is the analyze tab. One of the favorites here at Maverick. So let's jump into it and I'll give you a quick overview. Maverick trading is always looking for new technologies and cutting edge software. In over 25 years, we've found many different successful strategies. However, they all are dependent on a good software system. Since our traders trade firm capital, we want to make sure they have their best foot forward. Thinkorswim is one of the best options pricing tools out there and a favorite amongst the Maverick community. As a community, we like to share our findings with each other and the public. If joining a community is something that you'd be interested in and being a professional trader, come check us out. Let's get into the tutorial. Moving directly into the software, this is what we're going to be focusing on is this Analyze tab up at the top. Now the subcategories of this is also super helpful when it comes to building and analyzing not only just the stock, but uh, what we like to do here at Maverick all the time is option strategies. So you're going to see that you've got your ad simulated trades here. You've got your risk profile, which those will go back and forth in tandem here, and your probability analysis, economic data, think back, which is I've got another video on, which is how to do throwback or think back trades on the software. It's really cool. And then the market fundamentals. Now what I'm going to focus primarily on is the adding the simulated trades, the risk profile, and let me just jump into here to the probability analysis to start things off. So if you guys are wondering what kind of a range you could expect to see visually on any sort of stock, let's go ahead. I've got Microsoft in here, so I'll just go ahead and leave it. Over a certain time period, this is the little curve it has. So it's currently trading right around to this uh, $3.36 level, folks, right here if you want to know. Uh, if we wanted to know exactly where it was trading, we just go back to the Ad Simulator Trades tab. And you can see right here that Microsoft is currently at $336.57. It's got its, uh, uh, its up dollar amount, its percentage, and it's got a bid ask as well in this area. So this probability analysis is just basically going to mark that. Now this whole thing will move up and down as the stock does, but what's really cool, you have this nice little curve, which gives us price slices for expiration cycles. These are expirations. Now, Microsoft has weekly expirations, so you can see here that uh, it will give you those. So what I like to do is just basically grab the cursor. Let's move it out to, oh, about 20 days. This is the time frame down here. Hold the cursor, get it back up to this equity curve, and it says, ah, in the next 20 days, uh, the probability of Microsoft being above 322.05, that's there on the left, is 83% and 16.12% that it's going to be below it. Now this curve is just based on the options, Greeks, and premiums. Uh, you could see them here uh, down at the bottom if you'd like to look at them just visually without looking at the curve. Uh, they're all listed here. Also, if you wanted to get more specific, so this will give us above a range, right? I think it's a standard deviation and then below. If you wanted to add anything specific, you could draw your own price slices as you go and they would draw them on the line accordingly. I believe it would be up and down or uh, horizontally. You could change the offset by anything you wanted here. You've got uh, percentages, we've got uh, deviations, dollar amounts, all sorts of things. So play with that there. Now that's just an overview of the stock. A lot of traders like to start there. They'll start with Microsoft. Let's see how it compares to, let's take a look at Apple. Okay, here's its probability analysis range. You can see that it does also have weekly expiration strike prices. So just depending on what you're looking for at first. Now, once you've decided on that, the majority of the work is going to be done in the ad simulated trades. Now, just like I showed you when it comes to the probability analysis, Thinkorswim has it down here on the right margin. What's really cool about this is it gives the, this gives the volatility for each expiration cycle. What's really cool about it, not only does it give you the volatility, uh, let's take this first one out here at 32.56%, but it also gives you a plus minus. That volatility equates to a plus minus $4.93 move. So in the, in the next, let's go over here, in the next four days, based on the volatility of 32.56%, this the, uh, the stock is, is projected to move up or down by $4.93, depending on if it's bullish or bearish. Really cool way to take a look at this uh, without having to go to the probability analysis, but they're both super, super helpful. So what do I use this primarily for? That's right, finding options. Now we, here at Maverick, we teach all sorts of a top-down approach. We've got areas to select. We've got suggestions when it comes to the deltas and gammas and combinations that you're actually looking for. However, it doesn't matter uh, what type of trader you are, it's all here. 
I'm going to knock this down to, oh, eight strike prices off of center. And once I knock that down to eight, it makes this a little bit more manageable. What's kind of neat is you could gauge uh, what's in or out the money. Let's go ahead and uh, leave it here at Apple. Apple's at 178.67. So we know that if we're on the call side here, anything above below 178 is going to be in the money it's shaded here and anything above it on the put side is in the money and it's shaded as well so it's just a little bit of a kind of an off shade you have to kind of look at it you'll get used to it i'm sure you could change the settings to make this a little bit more prominent but what's great about this is just go ahead and click on it so let's do ourselves uh let's i selected 39 days out let's do a vertical spread here um of uh Apple. Let's do a bull call spread. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and buy the uh, in the money 175. It's cool because if I just click on this, it'll actually start to create the order below. And we'll be able to see that as the order starts to increase. Let me minus these price slices so you guys can see it. So there is our first leg. Now if I wanted to do multi-combo, I just hold down the control button. You can see when I have the control button, all sorts of hotkeys have popped up across the top. But what I want to do is add a sell side. So let's make this a $10 spread. Let's go ahead and sell, and I'll put this over the bid, which creates a sell order there, the uh, 185 against it. Now this defaults to 10 contracts. Let's just knock this down to one. You can also set the default uh, very simply by just going up here to setup. Let's go ahead and go to application settings, and I'm going to go to order defaults and choose options. You can set this up for stocks, futures, whatever you want. And I can go ahead and say, let's, let's default this down to one contract, hit apply settings. And now, next time I do it, it's going to pull up just one contract instead of 10. Anyways, I've got my option. You can see listed down here. It is a vertical spread, same expiration of October 23rd, 175 185 for $5.23. Now, what's really neat about the Analyze tab, and my favorite little guy that I go to all the time, is right up here, Risk Profile. Between ad simulated trades and risk profile, I probably spend the majority of my time researching in these two areas. Very little time setting the order, submitting all that fun stuff, because I'll, I'll know exactly what I'm looking for when I get there. Very interactive chart. You just zoom in, zoom out. We'll go ahead and just kind of stretch this, see if we can zoom this in and get it to, to stick. It kind of sizes itself. We, could, we, could, we can increase and decrease it any way you want manually. Um, what's really cool about this is this does allow us to hover the cursor over the graph itself. This purple line represents the risk graph right now. And this, uh, let's call it turquoise line, represent at expiration. So I know that if I carry my uh, cursor and just leave it anywhere below that 175 mark, you can see down in this little price box that it's giving me a loss or maximum loss of 526, which is basically the cost of the option times 100, right? One contract's 100 shares. I can go to the upside. Anything above that 185, since that's the strike price I sold, gives me a maximum gain of $474. Once again, I've got classes on this. This is just a way of showing you where to get to this uh, area. You can manipulate this and change it anywhere you want to from this screen. So if I wanted to go ahead and change expiration cycles, let's say we bump this, uh, we, let's bump this spread a little bit closer. Let's do it uh, just a week out, click it there. Now you can see it's the 15th of September. Uh, shows you all the risk graphs that are involved with that as well. You can actually go over to this because it'll stay to, it'll stay static to vertical because it identified it as such. I can hit customize and I can actually change this thing into a diagonal. Since we're selling that uh, September, let's go back and buy that October 20th and see what that looks like. And you can see it gives us the diagonal spread risk graph. Zoom in, zoom out, play with it, do whatever you want. What's really great about this, at any time, folks, a lot of traders will go to the trade button first, which is fine. You could do the same thing from the trade. But what I like about the Analyze tab is you have the ability to bounce very quickly to the probability of the overall stock. Uh, you could add simulated trades. You could build and jump between combos. If you really like this trade, you can come down to it any time, right click, and you could go create duplicate order. Now, once you create a duplicate order, this you can hit confirm and send, and we'll actually send it live to a live trade. I know I got a lot of questions uh, like that. So if you build it at trade first, you have to bring it into the Analyze tab by right-clicking and hit Analyze. But if you build it in the Analyze tab, all you have to do is right-click it and date duplicate order and send it from there. 
All right, so just a brief overview of what I love so much about the Analyze tab. I spend a lot of time in this, and I would always, uh, as always, folks, I would suggest that you go out there and do it yourselves and figure it out for yourself. Thanks for joining me so much, guys. Appreciate you joining me. We'll talk to you next time.